Public Domain Day 2022 is just around the corner. In this video, we will be exploring books that are entering the world of public domain. We'll have a look at a few and I will show you where to get it. All my videos are based on the public domain in US. However, there are publications that are getting into public domain in pretty much every country. This is a second video about Public Domain Day 2022. You can find the first one by checking the link in the description below. So what is actually getting into public domain? We are getting into the year of firsts. So basically the first editions of famous books. One of them is Winnie the Pooh by A. A. Milne, and that includes all the illustrations from the work published in 1926. Let's have a look for Winnie the Pooh on archive.org. So after typing in the title and hinting search, we're getting all sorts of results. To the left we have filters, so let's choose text, and we are still not there where we can actually find the proper edition. As you can see, all of these are Disney ones. So. So the quickest way is to choose a publication year. In the filters under year, click more, then choose 1926 and apply your filters. And we're down to three results. So I open the first one. As you can see, this publication still appears in books to borrow, which basically means that we cannot download it like many other books. But once the first January comes, this will be changed and we'll be able to download it. Bear in mind that when downloading the illustrations, please do not confuse them with modern or colored illustrations that were published by Disney, because they are still in copyright, so unless you want to get sued, stay away from them. As you can see, all of these are the illustrations that you cannot use. Even the ones that are colored, or sometimes they're gonna be colored illustrations which they appear like they are very, very old. You still cannot use them. What you can use is the black and white illustrations directly from the book. So you can only use the story and illustrations that were published in the original 1926 edition. Another first edition worth to mention is The Sun Also Rises a novel written by Ernest Hemingway. Also, a first novel written by William Faulkner, Soldier's Pay. Worth to mention is a great book by T. E. Lawrence, The Seven Pillars of Wisdom. We've got also The Murder of Roger Ackroyd by Agatha Christie, The Weary Blues by Langston Hughes, and Bambi by Felix Sultan. To the last one, there is a quite interesting story attached of copyright lawsuit between the rights holder and Disney's company, to which I've included a link in the description below. Also on the list, we've got a great self-help book, The Secret to Personal Wealth, which is still sold in the shops now, obviously in the new editions, but it has been read by millions upon millions of people. It's a book by George S. Clarkson, The Richest Man in Babylon. If you've never read it, I do recommend adding this position to your reading list for 2022. We've got various poems and short stories coming into the public domain, and one of them worth to mention is, is The Call of Cthulhu by H.P. Lovecraft. So besides reading, what you can do with these works? As I am not a lawyer, nor this is a legal advice, but with Public domain works, you can do pretty much anything you want. You can use it for commercial and personal projects. Bear in mind that any commercial projects, you might have to research other things. Like for example, trademarks. Winnie the Pooh might be trademark. I'm not quite sure if it is, but it might be. Other than that, I recommend to listen to a podcast by Side Hustle Nation, number 364, a story about Aaron Kerr who made over 100,000 dollars selling public domain books on Amazon Kindle platform. Um, you can find the link um, in the description below. Also, there is a link to the interview on the YouTube channel. So uh, just bear in mind, you can do it both ways, either listening to a podcast or you can stay within YouTube platform. If you've got any value out of this content, then like, share and subscribe to my channel. I would like to take the opportunity to thank you all who support this channel. A big thanks to Barbara for all the comments and the coffees that you have bought for me. And I would like to wish you all a happy new year. Many thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.